Hi friends, uh, today I will tell you about advanced system management. It's called ASM. It's the IBM Power Server FSP GUI page. So uh, all the Power Server uh, uh, from the starting, if you have only Power Server you want, uh, that is the different thing you can manage from the HMC. This page is for the IBM Power Server. Once it is configured up with the IP address, you can open this GUI page in the browser and change the configuration. So by default, I'm using dev ID or admin admin, you can use any uh, ID. So I have the full control of this machine. I will just tell you how you can use. See here, uh, this is the, I'm logged in with the dev ID. So system, see here, you can see No, this is the user status which are enabled and which are disabled only two users are enabled dev and c login so these are enabled all others are disabled so uh, now you can see other options i will uh, show you one by one so power on power of system if system is power okay firstly uh, sorry in the welcome page itself i will tell you about the machine type if you want to see the machine type it is 9179 mhd it is a high-end machine where dual fsp is there and serial number of this machine is this date uh, it is showing today and time uh, according to the system it is sp primary means service processor is primary right now I've logged in through the primary. Uh, if it is a two processor, it will show primary and secondary. So it will tell you it is primary or secondary. Current user is dev. I've logged in dev. This is my um, laptop IP address. And which users are enabled and which are disabled, it is showing in the front screen. Other things is the major thing is firmware version. So firmware, uh, it's not the build version. It's just basic. Uh, you can hear FWS firmware 770. Dot 3.32 no, so it is the firmware mm -hmm. i will tell you more details on that one power on power off system so first option is power on or power off so here is right now system in the power on state so it is uh, currently firmware state is standby it is if i connected with the hmc it will show their standby it's not fully booted because there you know, might be there is no partition or something else but firmware is up and it is current firmware boot site is permanent it can be temporary also permanent from here if i select the temporary it will show temporary there after reboot and otherwise permanent and right now other things uh, system operating mode manual uh, okay which system uh, operating system i want to uh, mode is uh, it is right now in the standby start policy if i want to running it will directly run the system to the first partition like our VIS, AX, whatever the uh, default partition on the system it will boot from there so system power of policy automatic power of stay on so uh, that will uh, I will uh, okay uh, I'm also not very much sure about this select the system power of policy system power of policy flag is a system that control the system behavior when the last partition or only partition case of there is no management by the HMC the choices are power off stay on see uh, if it is not managed by any HMC then this option will be used lastly default partition is AX Linux or I5 means uh, I5 I hope you are aware of is the IBM I or AS400 other way so save settings if I want to power off I can do the power off uh, also but right now it let it be otherwise i have to again start it will take long time it's very high end system auto power restart uh, is auto is i want to enable or uh, auto power uh, restart i want mostly uh, i want to disable if you want more information about this you can hear if enable system will automatically once power is restored after a power disturbance mostly system are not uh, uh, restart if any power failure happened it's stay there but if it is i enable this if any power disturbance happen it will automatically restart immediate power off this is the button when uh, uh, all the partition everything it's sudden shutdown you want to sudden shutdown uh, let's see nothing is there 
so here it's uh, do not use this function if you are replacing any adopter caching battery in the system see you know, all the these things we can uh, online we can use but when you uh, press immediate power off it will shut down everything it can be loss of your data system reboot this feature is not applicable on this system and this, uh, this option will reboot the system that's all other is system service aids so I will not go with the each and every point it is uh, so huge I will tell you the uh, some of the major points which I required okay if you want to reset your uh, service processor then uh, you can use the reset service processor is this option can be used by authorized service provider when the system is running it will reset the service processor and power of the system so if you want to uh, let's see your all the session it will uh, HMC session it will terminate all the active partition and operating system will be halted resulting in possible data loss so only reset service processor if it is required by the IBM or is the vendor some problem is there on the system second is uh, good option is uh, factory configuration this is only work when it is the power off factory default is, uh, system is you are in use and after some time uh, you are planning to do something else on the system and uh, it is not managed by the HMC and you want to install the IBM integrated virtualization manager then you have to move into the factory default settings then it will only come the uh, this, uh, this option will in use next is service processor command line here command line is you want to check the uh, um, firmware uh, firmware also all the command line commands you can uh, use here cubd cmd hyphen f so if you run this command you will get the exact version of the, your firmware current driver so uh, this command in use serial type all these things uh, it will show okay it is the current boot side is p means permanent okay next is logs oh yeah this is very good uh, option or it is very uh, we should use see here recent log power cooling subsystem unrecoverable error power supply so somewhere it is reset on 15th and it is giving the error so see here so many errors are there on this system if you want to select all and delete if you want to see again Uh, then you will clear all the logs log entries so what it will do it will now the new logs whatever is generated it will come here uh, we are not sure system is still giving the problem or it is the older so now again if you get the logs it means system is still has a problem see now this is not applicable informational event it is only the information so not much if you want to more on that one show details so it will give you the complete detail about the log what uh, why this is but only experts can uh, understand the logs system information I didn't work much on this but definitely network services and system configuration in the system configuration one of the uh, option which I mostly use is hardware management console if I have the multiple HMCs I don't know which is in use so this is temporarily disconnected see here this HMC so what I will do is select and remove connection so this connection gone and now only this HMC is connected if you have the multiple power server and multiple HMCs from here you can check so now this is my HMC where it is connected and now come on the network network configuration so this is the key area where you can work see it is the primary service processor IPv4 or you want to set IPv6 if I continue IPv4 it is ETH0 or ETH1 two uh, you know, ports are there so here yeah, I have configured this IP and secondary IP is private IP so uh, this will and here you can mention the DNS server and continue and save 
uh, this configuration if it is not because I am not changing any configuration you can see IPv6 also so primary if you want to use any IPv6 interface you have to just add the IPv6 address into the system so you can like ETH1 you want to configure IPv6 or ETH0 you have to configure this is your MAC address you can configure here so and a few other things I will show login profile or change password so here you can if uh, you have the admin HMC ID how it will connect you can change the password from here right it is the idea of the dev then only you can change new password for user new password for uh, if you want to un, uh, create the new password for HMC or admin now uh, I think from my side is uh, over so this option I've been using my routine work and might be it will help you uh, in your work thanks a lot friends thank you